Hey guys, welcome back to the Ranch and Four tutorial. Today is just going to be a very quick one as I'm just going to be showing you how to create a free look in your game. So essentially, if you're holding down Alt or any key that you want pretty much, your player is going to be able to just move their camera around the uh, actual character without it moving the character as well. So they can just hold down this button and take a quick look around the area. And this is good for a third person shooter or anything like that, where you can really use this anywhere. But a good example of where this has been used is PUBG. So I'll show you what this is going to look like now. So you can see we're walking around. If we move our camera, it also moves the player. If I hold down left alt, we're going to be able to move the camera around the player like that. So this just looks quite good, quite nice. You can just clearly see that you can just move around the camera around the player so that the player can actually have a look around the environment as well. Just just make it look really nice. So again, this is good for a shooter. If you want to be able to see around your surroundings while you're running in a straight line, you can just look around like that without it actually affecting the way the player is looking and moving in. So I'll show you how to do this now. So our first step is going to be to open up our character blueprint. So for me this is the third person character, but for you this could be first, third, whatever you've named it. But for me it's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. So I'm going to open that up and then, like I say this is very simple, so we're going to mess them out with the movement input here. But what we need to do first is we actually need to create a boolean. So I'm going to hit the plus variable here, I'm going to call this one free look, question mark like that making sure that this is a boolean. Compile, save, default value or false. And we're going to right click, actually no, I'll do this in action mapping, so I'll go to edit, project settings, go down to input like so, and you can ignore this action mapping, I've already got this from a previous tutorial. But if you hit the plus action mappings, what we can do is create a new one. I'm going to name this one free look, so free look like that, or whatever you want to call it. And you can set this to be whatever key you want as well. It really doesn't matter, but I want this to be left alt, as it's just very easy for the player to just move their thumb from space to left alt, like so. So it just makes it very easy for the player, but again, so that's whatever you want. And the benefit of doing an action mapping means we can set multiple keys, we can set up key bindings, or we can set it up for different consoles. It's a lot more efficient. We're going to close that, and now if we right click, we can call this action mapping. So I named mine free look, so get a free look like that, get that action mapping there. Off of pressed, I want to set this free look boolean that I made to true. And off of released, I want to set it to false. And what this means is that I have to be holding down Alt to be able to move the camera in free look. But now you can have this as a toggle if you want. So what you do is you just come off of pressed, get a flip flop, A goes into true, B goes into false, and don't come out released. So that way it's going to toggle it, but the way I want it is you have to hold it. So I'll just go off pressed and released like so. So that is that part done. But now we actually need to be able to use these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our movement input down here. So as you can see what we're doing is we're going to be getting the rotation of the camera. So that's control rotation and that is going to be deciding which is the forward and right vector. But what we want to do is we just want this to be the forward vector of the player in the current direction they are moving but only when we have free look on. So what we'll do is we'll leave this like that but we are just going to select the break rotator, make rotator, get forward vector, get right vector and the two add movement inputs there. So you just select that, Control c Control v to bring it over here. So now we have this code here. But like I say, what we want to do is we want this part to be just the player's forward vector anyway. So to do that, we can just simply drag and drop a reference to the capsule component in there. And then for this, we're going to get rotation, get world rotation like that, plug the return value in the break rotator there. So now this is going to do the exact same thing as this, but instead of it being the camera rotation, it's just going to be the player's rotation anyway, which is obviously what we want for this. But then how do we connect these two pieces of code up so that they both work together? Well, this is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the input axes, move forward and move right out like so. So just move them like that. Hold down B, left click to get a branch. Plug that in there. The condition of this is going to be free look. So if we are free looking, false, we just want to go into this. So if we're not free look, we just want it to act like normal. So that'll go into that movement input there. And then we'll do the same down here. So select that, Control C, Control V, plug it in to the move right with false going in there again, like so. And then true, what we want to do, we just want to plug these into our new movement inputs like that. So we put the movement input in there and then make sure that the, the scale value is going to go into the axis value of our move forward and move right here. And now that will work. And also you can clean this up a bit so you can double click these to get some reroute nodes just to make it look a little bit nicer keep it a lot more organized and again you can do the same with these but this doesn't matter too much this is just to help you see it better to make it look nicer that isn't a requirement you don't need to do it I'm also just going to comment this so select it and then use free look movement input 
like so. So now if we compile and save, we should see that this should work. So if we minimize this and hit play, we can move around and the camera is going to be rotating our player so we can move around normally. If we hold down Alt, we can see that we're going to be moving like this. So we can then move in a straight line that we're currently running in and we have our camera free looking around the player like so in any direction the player chooses to look in. So this works great, they can look all around them without it affecting the direction they are moving in. And we can still use A and D to move as well, it works perfectly. So we can still free look around like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we wanted to do. We've set it up so the player can run around normally, look around normally as well. If they hold down a button, for me it's left alt, we can have a free look so we can completely look around the player without it changing the direction the player is looking in or moving in. Sorry, so they look in a different direction, but their direction doesn't change though for their moving in. So this works great. So again, you can utilize this in a third person shooter or literally any game that you want where you just want the player to be able to run around in a straight line, but have their camera looking a different direction. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.